I need your attention once again. Now's your opportunity to show all your love as I call upon the newly crowned King and Queen, Frida and Dimitri Kalliopoulos! Ταξιδέψανε με από την Παγκλιά από την Ελλάδα, τον ξαδεφό μου, τον Θοδωρή και τον φίλο μου, τον φίλο του, τον Δημήτρη, την αρδεφή του πατέρα μου, η θεία μου, η Ντίνα και η κυρία Ζανέτα και η Μαριάννα που ήρθαν από, από Ελλάδα. Του ψάχνω, δεν ξέρω που είναι από εκεί. Α, ah, okay. ah, ναι, το φω είναι. Δεν σε βλέπω από πίσω το φω. I wanted to thank, what I was just saying, for those of you who don't speak Greek, I was thanking people who traveled all the way from Greece to be here to celebrate in our wedding day. And a lot of you, I guess, actually I have met a lot of you here from coming to Ottawa a lot, but a lot of you probably don't know the story about our first date, and I need to share it with you because I have to get something clear if it's an Ottawa thing because it was just kind of odd to me. When we went out on our first date, he took me to this wonderful, wonderful romantic place in Toronto called Panorama. It's on the 54th floor, beautiful lounge bar. We had drinks, gorgeous. And we decided to meet at the, because you have to take an elevator up to the 54th floor, we decided to meet in the lobby. So I get there and he's all smiles and he's like, hi. He's like, well, I thought I would bring you roses, but that's not, um, that's too common. So instead, I brought you this. So he gives me this big shopping bag and I'm like, what did he bring? So I take it, I'm like, okay. I open it up, what do I see? And a kilo of feta. <laughs> and here I am in a gorgeous outfit with a bag of feta cheese. And I'm like, not even in a coutine, in one of those wrapped bags. And I wasn't even a nice box. It was in a wrapped paper with, and I'm like, who brings his date feta cheese on their first date? It worked. <laughs> so true. I, and I'm thinking, is this an Ottawa thing? I'm like, who brings feta cheese? So anyways, needless to say, we took it upstairs. And I'm still thinking to myself, what am I doing with, with a bag of feta cheese <laughs> by my feet? And I think he goes, he goes and tells the waitress, can you take this to the fridge in the back and we'll take it later on our way out? And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And yeah, he tells the waitress he, that I take it everywhere I go. It was very embarrassing, but yeah. And then he had the nerve on the second day to ask me, so did you eat the feta cheese? I'm like, no, I just shoved it in the fridge. I think my parents ate it. I don't even know what happened to that cheese. But anyhow, you're right. I guess it did work, because look how now I'm here. So maybe maybe those single guys out there, maybe that is the trick. So anyhow, I want to say thank you very, very much for all of you, and, and um, all of you traveled from Toronto as well. It means so much that you traveled all this way to be here tonight. And, and Pete from New York as well, and Irene and the whole family. But I'm going to pass it on to the man, the feta cheese in, and he has a few things to say.
Η μητέρα μου μου είπε να βάλω το σοβρακό μου ανάποδα. Να μην με ματιάσετε. Και κάπου με τσιμπάει. Όλη μέρα. Σκόρτο από εδώ, ανάποδο σόβρακο, μαρούλι, κρεμμύδι, ούτε ξέρω τι τσέπες μου τι έχει βάλει. Ολόκληρη σαλάτα εδώ έχω. Εντάξει ρε μα. Θα σε ματιάσω. Έχεις φυλαχτό. Κρύπνη. Καλώς ορίσατε. I would like to take just a moment to acknowledge a few people, if I may. Okay. Πρώτα θέλω να καλώς ορίσω όλους που έχουν ελθεί από μακριά να είμαστε όλοι μαζί απόψε για τις φρύντες και τα δικιά μου χαρούμενη μέρα. Okay, if you're gonna laugh at my Greek, There's the door. All right? Okay. And I thought of my podium too. Um, Yatus Kalus, Mas Filus, I almost said Kolos Oriso instead of Kalos Oriso. It's like my sister, she can't say Proti Purdos, she says Purdi Purdos. Can you edit that on the camera? Okay. Yeah, to Skalus Mas Filus, up to Toronto, then you have Kolo, Yasas, Puyertate, up to Toso Macria. Accidentally. Echo Piala. Google, Google. Wima, Kolo Soris. Ah. Yeah, to Skalus Mas Filus, up to Toronto. Then you have Kolo Yasas, Puyertate, up to Toso Macria. Εγώ και η Φρίδα το εκτιμούμε πάρα πολύ που κάνετε μια μεγάλη θυσία για να βρεθείτε στη μεγαλύτερη χαρά της ζωής μας. Σας ευχαριστούμε όλους. Τι μου That was good. I welcome all of my family and friends from my hometown, Ottawa. It, it warms my heart to see you all here on our most joyous occasion. Father Alex. Words cannot describe the love and appreciation that Frida and I have for you and your family. Thank you for gracing us with your presence tonight. Thank you for the beautiful service you gave today in church. You and your family have always been there for my family in our time of need. You've been there for the ups and for the downs. You even flew to Toronto for my engagement. I would like to thank you, Father, for being an inspirational, spiritual leader, and as I have said time and time again, a great friend. You are truly the best man that I know. I would also like to say some quick thank you to some people that made this evening possible. Thank you to the Hellenic Banquet Center staff, the chef David for preparing such a delicious dinner for us tonight. You like the food? Uh, David, you are not Greek, but that's okay. You can still cook. I would also like to say a big thank you to Mary, the manager of the uh, Hellenic. Mary, I drove you bonkers. I drove you absolutely nuts all month long. And you took it like a champ. You are the reason why this place runs so smoothly. So I send a big thank you to you. Wherever you are, Mary. Thank you very much. Thank you to Eugenia of Details Ottawa for decorating the hall so beautifully tonight. All right. Yeah, very good job. Thank you to Mr. Dimitri Eclides for being our MC this evening. <laughs> Dimitri, MCing the Greek festival with you for the past 10 years have been incredible. Uh, thank you for showing me everything, teaching me how to work a crowd. I have some truly amazing lifetime memories with you that I will cherish for my entire life. The way it happened actually, I was emceeing a fashion show in high school and Lucas, your son, 
was in the fashion show and I was emceeing it. After the fashion show, your wife Penny came up to me and said, you're Greek. I said, who's asking? <laughs> Immigration? <laughs> My parents aren't home. Uh, no. And I said, yes. I said, I'm Greek. She said, who writes your material? I said, what material? And she said, would you like to help my husband host the Greek festival? Would you be interested? I jumped at the chance, and that was 10 years ago, and uh, it's been the wildest ride of my life. I've met some amazing people, and uh, there's no rush in the world like making thousands of people laugh. It's the best, best feeling in the world. And for that, I thank you, Dimitri. Um, thank you to all of the ladies that baked and brought the beautiful desserts for us to enjoy this evening. Um, you'll see them later at the sweet table. Thank you to... Oh, I'm not going to say that joke. <laughs> Skip. Thank you to our incredible wedding party. Uh, the ladies look so beautiful and the guys look amazing. Give them a round of applause here. I'm going to say some words about Joey. Joe, like I know there's a friend. To say that you are my best friend would not be enough. We've been brothers for over 23 years. We've been through everything together, and my family loves you as their own child. They actually love you more than they love me. But I've learned so much from you, and I know that I'm a better man because of our friendship. Growing up in a Greek home, parents never really did believe in sleepovers. Greek parents, anyway. So when Joy would sleep over, my mom would wrap him up like a tiropita to make sure there was no funny business. And she would come down every five minutes and say, <laughs> Or in English, make sure you keep your hands off Jimmy. Good night, Zoe. For breakfast, we have feta calamata olives and melba toast or cornflakes with sugar. Sto <laughs> yo. And this is a sleepovers. I could like yes. And that's it, more. Now, that's it. Also, the other thing I want to ask you is that you can't have a price for it. But I'm going to give you a lot of Tony and Irene, we go back many, many years. Your home was always open to my family, Tony, no matter what time of day or night it was. And I know it always will be open, because that's your and Irene's personality. Thank you, Irene, for always making fresh coffee. No matter what time it was, even though Tony would say, Irene, just put it in the microwave. <laughs> Seriously though, it is our honor to have you as our kumbari. We love you and thank you very, very much for everything you've done for us. We look forward to many happy days with your family and with our growing family. So thank you very much. I'm almost done. Have you had enough? Oh, good. I got more. Thank you to all of my uncles and aunts, with special mention to my mom's brother, Theotaki. Uh, his wife Annette and his kids Michael and Christina do this. Theo, I have always looked up to you. You are the cool uncle. Uh, I would always be proud to tell people that you are my uncle because you're so damn cool. <laughs> always wearing track pants. <laughs> Pasca, track pants. Coolest guy I know. You even have an eBay account. Thank you for all of your love advice and guidance throughout the years, Theo. I would like to thank my brother-in-law, Iggy. A guy could not ask for a better brother-in-law. You were really here for me, uh, helping me, helping us prepare for our big day. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I couldn't have done this without your help, Iggy. You missed a lot of work the last couple of weeks for me. <laughs> to my sister, you know I love you more than words can describe. We've been through so much together. 
It's funny because even though I'm the younger one, I was always the protective one over you. It's funny, I was able to get rid of every guy except Dickie. I couldn't move him. So I said, keep him, what the hell? One of the first things that I told Frida when we first started dating was, put that cheese in the fridge and if we ever get married, you need to number one, get past my mom, and number two, the real challenge, get past my sister. Uh, thank you, Tina, for always being there for me when I needed you the most, and for protecting me. I love you very much. Thank you to my new brother-in-law, Harris and Perry, and of course, the kids, Adres and Amanda, for being part of our special day. You guys accepted me with open arms, except that Leafs incident, uh, and have shown me nothing but love and respect, and for that, I thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to Greek again, so feel free to laugh. Stapetrikamu, Adres, Ketina Sigunas. Tina Saspo. Σα έφερα ένα DVD player <laughs> να παίξετε ελληνικέ ταινίε από Τένφορντ <laughs> και σα πήρα την κόρη. <laughs> Now that's what I call a good deal. <laughs> From day one, You've shown me so much love and respect. You are the kindest, sweetest people. Σας αγαπώ πάρα πολύ. Σας ευχαριστώ για όλα που έχετε κάνει για μας. I love you guys. Sorry, it was late. Ke pume galosate ena geludi ti frida mo. Sasa karisto parpoli. Kusanle. Okay, I'm almost done. To my parents, dad, you are definitely the smoothest man that I know. <laughs> Maybe we didn't have a lot of fancy things growing up, but I learned a very valuable lesson from you at a young age, and that was how to hustle. <laughs> from the hustler himself. Is my battery dying? I'm good. To my mother, Faye, super mom, my biggest hero, my inspiration, my mentor, my conscience, my guardian angel. You are without a doubt the strongest and best mom. I have learned so much from you. I've learned everything from you. I still learn from you every day. Actually, after this speech is over, I'm almost certain that you'll come up to me and say, Afto, then it was not a piece of speech. But then it like here. Και γιατί το είπες αυτό στο σπίτς. Μας ξεφτύλισες. Γιατί με παρασθενείς όλη την ώρα. Έτσι είμαι εγώ. That's just it. She always makes me laugh. She's got the biggest heart in the world. I don't know if everybody here knows, but my mother fell a couple of weeks ago at the restaurant and dislocated her shoulder and broke a bone. And she actually was in a sling. And she's not supposed to be She's not wearing it now, because she wants to hide it, but it's, it's very bad. So I call her up and ask her, Ma, τι κάνεις με το χέρι σου σήμερα? Άσε μας μωρέ, θα τον σκοτώσω. Sorry? Who? Θα τον σκοτώσω, το chipmunk. Ποιο chipmunk? Εγώ σε παίρνω το χέρι και μου λάσκω chipmunks. Είναι ένας και τρέχει παντού και βάζει τρύπες στο χορτάρι. Και τον ακολουθώ, θα τον σκοτώσω. Well, how are you going to do that, man? Well, σε κάθε τρύπα, βάζω ένα κιλό τσάδεξ και από πάνω βάζω ένα κούβλο, ένα μπρίκ, θα τον κάνω suicide. Το βλάκα. 
I said, you mean murder? That's murder. Anyway, Kati is to portare. They might go into portare. Why do you think that is, Ma? Is that because you're pouring Javex all over the grass? Ah, so Master Timmy, take it to the other part of the canoe. To portare, they're going to go into the canoe. Maybe this is not the taxis. I know I'm always telling you that I've had enough Ordominius and lessons, but it was your wisdom and all of those Ordominius that made me the man that I am today. I hold... <laughs> I hold my head up high when I speak about my mother. I know you got upset when I left for Toronto, and you thought I was leaving you. I could never leave you. Ever. 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 Never. We will always be here for you, both of us, Frida and I. I owe you my life, and plus, you'll have to visit next year so you can help raise my kids too. Aww. One arm is in a sling, the other one has a baby, the other kid's over her shoulders, and she's still smiling. Um, so Tina and Nikki, stop having kids so yeah, I can help here. <laughs> Mom, thank you especially for the Arminius about how to choose the right woman for a wife. About ten times a day, you would say, Ise so pedi. Ise worth one million dollars. Ise to kalitro pedi to cosmo. I must eat it. Eh, what is it? Mum yaxes, yef to ise kalos. Anyway, you give me advice on every aspect of my life, and especially about marriage. Thank you for all your wisdom, all of your obedience, and all of your love. And Frida. I could cry. No, I'm a Pisces. I might cry. Frida, you are everything a man could ask for in a woman and more. You are beautiful, intelligent, respectful, considerate. You play Nintendo Wii. Better than most guys. And you can cook. I knew from the moment I met you that I would marry you. Thank you for saying yes. Oh. Thank you for saying yes. Uh, not that you had a choice, considering I took you to uh, Santorini to propose on the steepest cliff in Greece. <laughs> so if she said no, bam <laughs> kikato. Bye bye, Charlie. Ala fui pesne, te doy mas te quito me. The thing I love about you the most is your lightheartedness. We always have fun together. I love to make you laugh because you have the most innocent and pure laugh I've ever heard. You always see the good in people and you are always so positive. The eternal optimist. I thank God for you every day. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. Thank you, Frida, for making me the happiest guy in the world and for saying yes. I love you very much. I'm sorry, I know that was very long, but it was important. Um, it's important to thank good people, and you're all very good people. Uh, thank you everybody once again for coming. Sorry we had a bit of a mix up with the rain. Uh, it delayed our coming here, but uh, in the end everything turned out fantastic. So I uh, hope you enjoyed your uh, meal, and now I'm hoping we can uh, party. I know it's not a long weekend, technically it is, technically it isn't. I'm hoping you can all stay, but uh, you know, let's have a party and let's have a good time. If anybody's so bad at police, I'm not. And uh, that's it. Thank you.